Compound interest, maths cast 6. Compound interest is a question which usually comes up in the calculator paper. It's normally worth 3 marks. Here is our question. Katie puts £3,000 in a bank account. She receives 4% compound interest for 3 years. What will she have in her bank? Firstly, we will try and understand what the question is asking us to do. Well, Katie puts £3,000 in her bank account and every year she gets 4% interest so it goes up by 4% each year. It does this for 3 years. So we want to work out how much money she'll have at the end. The money's going up by 4% per year. So we start with 100% and we add on 4%. Therefore we have 104%. We must change this into a decimal so we can use it on a calculator. To change this into a decimal we divide by 100. This gives us 1.04. We then must set up our answer. You can see this is a three year question. So we have three lines of working now. One year, two year and three year. We set it up like this so we remember what to do in the exam. So we start with £3,000 and multiply it by 1.04, our decimal. We can type this in on a calculator. This gives us the answer of 3,120. So after one year we have £3,120 in the bank. We're now going to repeat this step for the second year. We start this time with 3,120 because that's how much we have in the bank account times 1.04. Again, we type this into a calculator to get the answer. This gives us the answer of £3,244.80. On a calculator, it will just say 0.8, but because this is money, we write 0.80, which is 80 pence. We now repeat for the third and final year. We start with £3,244.80, times it by our 1.04, type this in on a calculator, this gives us the answer of £3,374.59. We've rounded this to two decimal places because money has two decimal places. Therefore, after three years, at 4% compound interest, KT will have £3,374.59 in her bank. We've now got three marks. We're going to do another example now, but this time it will be depreciation instead of compound interest. Depreciation is when it goes down, not up. So here's our depreciation question. A depreciation question, as I've said, is exactly the same as a compound interest. Compound interest, the value goes up. Depreciation, the value goes down. So let's read it. A car costs £8,000. Its value depreciates by 15% per year. What is it worth after two years? We start this question the same as compound interest, except we're taking away the percentage. So it's going down by 15% per year. So we have 100%, take away 15%, gives us 85%. As a decimal, divide by 100, this is 0 0.85. We're now going to set up the question by writing 1 and 2 years on the side. So in our first year, our sum is £8,000, the cost of the car, times 0 0.85, our decimal. This gives us the answer of 6800 So after the first year, the car is worth £6,800. We're now going to repeat for the second year. 6800 the new amount, times the 0 0.85, gives us the answer of £5,780. This is a two-year question, so this is our answer. That is how much the car is worth after two years. Now, practice the questions on the next slide and ask your teacher for help. Some of the questions are compound interest, where the money goes up. Some of the questions are depreciation, where the money goes down. Be careful to read them carefully.